New at 10, a concealed carry controversy in Wisconsin in a bank. A permit holder claims he had no warning he could not take his gun inside. But a few days later, he got a letter from U.S. Bank saying, don't do that again. This veteran and volunteer firefighter feels his rights are being threatened. His story has gained international attention. Annie Scholes has an exclusive interview with that upset customer tonight. Annie. Mike and Carol, Zach Cantwell believes U.S. Bank isn't being clear about its policy not to allow weapons on the premises, a policy he says he only found out about after receiving a letter he equates to bullying. Zach Cantwell is a card-carrying, concealed-carry permit holder. But when Zach carried a gun into a U.S. Bank branch, he received this letter from corporate security saying the possession of weapons is prohibited on U.S. Bank premises. Zach's problem with that is it's not posted anywhere. You know what, that's fine. That's their decision. That's their right. But for me, that just tells me they don't support my right to defend myself. Legally, the bank can have the policy and not post it. They just have to notify customers. Zach says there's a better way than this. The letter goes on to say further action will be taken if they learn he is in possession of a weapon on U.S. Bank premises. A little harassing, but more as a big corporation being a bully. The letter is signed by a woman in the corporate security department who, when I called, told me they had no comment. Zach says whatever the bank's reason for their policy, he just wishes he'd known about it before it came to this. Don't try and cover it up to not offend some people, but open it up to appease other people. You know, be open about who you are. And Zach says as a veteran, he does believe U.S. Bank takes good care of the men and women who have served our country with special accounts and offers. But he says if they continue with this policy, he will take his business elsewhere. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Annie Scholes, today's TMJ4. All right, thanks, Annie.